Together, Satyam Gnanam Anandam Brahma Satyam Gnanam Anandam Brahma Satyam Gnanam Anandam Brahma Satyam Nyanam anandam brahma satyam gnyanam anandam brahma satyam gnyanam anandam brahma Terry, go for it. Satyam Nyanam Anandam Brahma Satyam Nyanam Anandam Brahma Satyam Nyanam Anandam Brahma Satyam Nyanam Anandam Brahma Satyam Gnanam Anandam Brahma Satyam Gnanam Anandam Brahma So we've been um, speaking about uh, this chant and its meaning and um, the meaning about every single word in this chant. It's only four words. And how it's, it's a progression. And satyam means truth in that foreign language. And um, it's really the truth about our existence, it's absolute truth. It's not like your truth, my truth. It's just something that is pervasive and always there. Um, it's the unchanging in nature of 
you know, all of life. And I spoke about uh, basic goodness as being our unchanging nature, basic being meaning unchanging. And um, goodness is potentiality, that things can go either way. And so within that, within that, this truth is, has two, two aspects. On one hand, it's that which is unchanging, always there, like the background or the landscape of our of our true nature, of um, something fundamentally, primordially good. And on the other hand, it's not opposite of that, but it's not a mutually, one is not mutually, mutually exclusive of the other, is uh, the truth of, uh, of impermanence, um, that things are always in flux, that nothing is ever fixed. Like even the I, you, is not fixed. It's actually fluid. And so that's the potentiality. Like it's, it's beautiful because it's so optimistic. And so once we get a taste or we have an experience of that which is unchanging, but also of that which is always changing, we ac acquire a certain uh, wisdom. And that wisdom is called jnanam. So that's the second word. It's your own wisdom, your own intelligence that comes from direct experience. You didn't just read it in a book. It's not just someone told you about it. You've actually um, directed, you, you've it's like when you taste something. It's, it's your taste, it's your, they're your taste buds. You've tasted it. You've smelled it, you felt it, you've touched it. And um, from there, from this wisdom, Nyanam, uh, comes Anandam. And Anandam is bliss. It's a special state of mind by which we become impermeable to the confusion that surrounds us. Like um, sometimes, hopefully often in Shavasana. Shavasana is final relaxation. So it's really good to end practice, if, any physical practice, you know, lying down where you, you know, the energy you've, you've, you've garnered uh, can, can be distributed through all the parts of your body. So we call it final relaxation or Shavasana, it's corpse pose. It's like the ultimate letting go. And so, um, when you get out of Shavasana, no matter what is going on around you, like I, I get on my bike after I, I practice, after Shavasana, and you know, it's New York City, which I love, my favorite place in the whole world. But it's New York City, it's like you're on your bike and it's New York City. It's, it's, Denise is like, be careful, I have a helmet. Be careful. It's, it's New York City. It's why, like, people are cutting you off. I mean, you know, you're, I have my AirPods, which I know is not a great idea, but you know. And but if I'm if I'm riding my bike right after Shavasana, because through Shavasana we get a, a taste of this blissful state of mind. You know, I'm 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 disinclined to succumb to road rage. Like for a little while, at least for a little while, I know, I know, like that's my wisdom. I know not to meet aggression with aggression. It only lasts a few minutes. See, uh, Teresa's like five minutes. That's good, five. Can you hold handstand for five? Five is a lot. Anyway, but it's but Anandam is not just that. It's the kind of st blissful state, not like hashtag I'm blissed out. Like it's different, you know. It's it's the kind of, of state of mind that that lingers because it emerges out of our own wisdom. And it doesn't mean like when I say, oh, you, you're impermeable to the confusion that surrounds you. It doesn't mean that we're aloof to the confusion, to the heartbreak, to the heartache that is all around us. 
It's not that. Instead, from Anandam, and from this wisdom and from this having tasted, having have had a direct experience of, of, of this unchanging but also changing reality, we gain or we acquire a certain confidence. Yeah, like you trust yourself, not in an arrogant way, but you trust yourself, you trust your basic nature, you trust your basic goodness. goodness. And, and so we trust our wisdom. We have confidence in our basic goodness. We trust our mind and we know that because of that, we can participate in our reality effectively and, um, and positively. Like it's the realization that things are not just coming at you, but rather that we can, we're all co-creating, you know, our world in every moment. And, and that's Brahma, the fourth word, which is like a force of creation. You're not just not, you know, there's, there are forces that are co-creating the reality with you, but you're one of those forces. Badass force. So, um, what is it again? Satyam, Jnanam, Anandam, Brahma. Okay. Adho Mukashvanasana, Downward Facing Dog. If you have questions, comments, share them with the collective um uh claire do you have a spot there's a oh i love saying that my favorite see brandy posted about souk a few months ago and she quoted a few of our favorite words such as do you have a spot can i find your spot for you hey chad So everybody has a spot, Geneviève. Yeah, there's plenty of like, I mean, tu peux ici ou tu peux vers l'arrière aussi. Comme tu veux. Oh, no, perfect, echo. Yeah, ici, parfait. Okay, down dog. Hi. Hey, look, you're always said VIP. We, 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 we have the option to Hi, sorry. Oh my God, I just like, how did you get hurt? A harmonium just fell on me. <laughs> a musical instrument. Um, we have the pick a spot feature, but we haven't activated it yet. I don't, I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea. I mean, who knows these days? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll send out a survey. Just kidding. <laughs> I did send out a survey and I, uh, we're listening. It's so corporate. It's not what I wanted to say. But thank you for filling it out. Seriously, we're, we're co-creating this space. That's the point. Okay, this 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 space of practice is yours. It's your home. Okay, walk your feet forward, Uttanasana. So please, we we use the feedback, the input. is important. And then from here, bend the knees, catch your waist, and let's go. Come up. Samastirihi. OK, here we go. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, see your thumbs. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, look up, lengthen, open across the chest. Exhale, jump or step back, Chaturanga Randasana. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale two, breathe in, three, Alex, this is the first time you're practicing in the front for four, inhale, exhale five, bend the knees, inhale, jump or step, I'm turning this away from you, 
Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, press down, reach all the way up. Exhale, arms by the side, Samastri Hitadasana. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold over the legs. Inhale, head up. Exhale, jump or step back, Chaturagrandasana. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, take it back, downward face. Breathe, inhale. One. Hey, Kalyan, inhale. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five, bend the knees, inhale, jump or step. Exhale, take it down, Uttanasana. Inhale, press down, reach all the way up. Exhale, arms by the side, Samastri Heat, Padasana. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, look up. Exhale, jump or step back. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, three, so Rachel, move your fans forward, a little bit more for four, inhale, exhale, five, bend the knees, inhale, jump or step, exhale, Uttanasana, inhale, press down, reach all the way up, exhale, Tadasana, again, inhale, reach up, Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, head up. Exhale, jump or step back. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, take it back, downward face. Breathe, inhale, very nice, Lakshmi. Exhale, one. Nice, Sean. Inhale, two, so one thing. Roll the tri, now the other way, yes. And then move the hips away from the armpits, yes. Three, perfect. Inhale. Four. Hi, Lisa, inhale. Exhale, five, bend the knees, inhale, jump or step. That's good, Lena, fold on the exhale. Inhale, press down, reach all the way up. Exhale, arms by the side, Tadasana. Inhale, deeply bend the knees, reach the arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, beautiful echo, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, hips forward a little bit, Rosa. Exhale, jump or step back, Chaturangarandasana. Yes, Claire, inhale, push back to come forward, face way up, Emma. Exhale, downward face. Inhale, step the right foot forward, back heel down. Right butt up towards the right heel canter, that's it. Exhale, Chaturangarandasana. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Right heel down. Warrior one. Exhale, Chaturangarandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukashvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukashvanasana. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, one. Breathe, in. Two, inhale, three, Kelly, when you do that, that's great, just make sure the left knee is tracking over second and third toe, four, inhale, exhale, five, bend the knees, inhale, jump or step, that's it, Meg, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, press down, reach all, uh, deep in the knees, sorry, reach all the way up. Exhale, come to stand, Tadasana. Okay, inhale, deep in the knees. Stand on your heels, sides of the navel back. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, open across the chest, lengthen. 
Exit jumper, step back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Inhale, step the right foot forward, back heel down, warrior one, sorry, Jim. Nice. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward face, nice, Arli. Exhale, downward face. Inhale, step the left foot forward, back heel down, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful, Rosa, beautiful. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, one. So, Chantra, yeah, triceps in, biceps out. And then that's going to push the space between the top part of the shoulder blades down. So, you want to move the hips away from the armpits. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. And exhale, bend the knees in a jump or step. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, deeply bend the knees, reach the arms up, size of the navel back, lengthen waistline. Exhale, samastirihi. One more like this, inhale, deeply bend the knees. Exhale, uttanasana. Inhale, ardha uttanasana, look up. Exhale, jump step back, shaturangarandasana. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Just shift to the face of Inhale, step the right foot forward. Back heel down. Virabhadrasana, one. Exhale, Chaturangarandasana. Chambhyash Pramatsa. Ici. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Back heel down, warrior one. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, upper dog. That's it. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe, inhale, exhale, one, breathe in, two, inhale, three, inhale, four, breathe in, exhale, five, soften the knees in a jump or step. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, deeply bend the knees, reach the arms up, Uttanasana. Exhale, come to stand, Tadasana. One more Surya Namaskar, but different. Ah, 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 ah. Legs extended, inhale, hook thumbs, reach up, arch back. Exhale, bend the knees, swing the arms over, bend knees, hands in a fist, both legs extended. Look if you don't know what's going on. Inhale, press the hands down, bend the knees, right leg back, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Shoulders over wrist. Exhale, bend the elbows. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Inhale, plank. Length and waistline. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Keep the toes tucked under. Inhale, slide forward. Exhale, put your toes. And then tuck the toes. Sit up and back, downward dog. Inhale, right foot forward, lunge. Exhale, left foot forward. Take it down. Inhale, bend knees, hook thumbs, reach forward, come to stand, straighten legs, arch back. Exhale, reverse the flow all the way down and extend the legs. Inhale, bend the knees, hands down, plant them, left leg back, reach back versus dropping, look up. Exhale, down, down. Inhale, float to plank pose. Exhale, bend the elbows, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees. Chest and shape. Inhale, slide. Come forward. Exhale, tuck the toes. Sit to heels. Up and back. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Look up. Exhale, right foot forward. Fold. Inhale, bend knees. Look thumbs. Reach forward. Come to stand. Straighten legs. Arch back. Tailbone down. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, separate the feet as wide as your mat. So the pinky as as wide as your mat, Elisa, yeah. Pinky toes and outer heels in line with the edges of your mat. So that's a frame, it's a structure. And then you expand, like that's your world right now. And then catch your waist. And as you lift the chest, draw the tailbone forward, arch the back. And then exhale, as you come forward, draw the tailbone back, cup your fingertips. Now inhale, look forward, draw the tailbone forward, come to stand, arch the back, just for a few, well, a couple of times. Exhale, tailbone back, come forward and down. Inhale, 
hands on the waist, step up forward, arch the back, look up, and then exhale forward, down as you get one more back and stay. One. Inhale, fingertips outside of your feet. Align the toes and the fingers. Two. Breathe. Three. Inhale, let's go side. Four. Inhale. Nice sound. Karina from Argentina. Five. Inhale, look up. Exhale, catch your waist. And again, tailbone forward, arch the back. And then exhale, come to an upward position, bring the feet hip width apart. Grab hold of the big toes. Use fingers. You can go wider with your legs if your hamstrings are tight. Keep the navel. That's too close, Alice Fraid and Student Zero. Wider high, wider legs. Kate. Yes, that's good. And then exhale, bend the elbows out to the side and fold. One, beautiful Elisa King. Inhale. Two, Panagustasana. Three. So trusting the small gesture, the mudra of having the fingers around the big toes, the intelligence in your big toes, pressing down, the intelligence in your fingers, lifting, finding the balance. Look up on the next inhalation. Exhale, release the bind. Step on your palms. So you can bend the knees to really walk your toes up. Rosa, go further up on your wrist. And then exhale, fold. Breathe in. Breathe out one. So you're not hanging by a thread. Two. Geneviève, plus haut, vers les poignets, dans les pieds. Three. Inhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, look up on the next inhale, exhale, release the hands, catch your weight, and come to stand, maybe you draw the tailbone forward since we did that, and then find your uh, blocks, if you don't have blocks at home, it's totally fine, I'm just going to show, between Alex and uh, Brandy. So I'm going to be here. You guys can see me. So just one block. And then hold it with your right hand. And then turn the... Come, come into Gobukasana arm. So bend the right elbow and place the block at the base of your neck. Press the block with the right palm down. And then place the left hand on your left hip. Feet can be slightly apart. And then draw the right forearm down, but the right elbow is out. And push down. So think headstand with the right forearm. You can also bring the right hand, left hand on your right elbow, push it down. And I want you to press the palm into the block. Tailbone forward. So we did move the tailbone back and forward. So forward to lift the chest. And then reach the right arm up, release. And use as do it do it on the other side, please. With the left hand. Okay, I'm assisting Brandy, everybody. We're on TV, Brandy. Okay, right hand on your right the waist. Left forearm down. Beautiful. One, right shoulder back. Two. Nice Mindy. Three. Four. And exhale, five. Lift the left arm up. Keep the block in your hands. Try not to grab the block with the fingers. Just press the knuckles into the block. Again, tailbone forward. Maybe you lift your toes. So as you bring the tailbone forward, you can really stand on your heels and place your toes down. Lengthen the waistline, one. So experience your own spaciousness in between the ribs, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. And then take the elbows back. You can flip the block to be a narrow. Press the palms. Don't have the elbows out to the side. Actually have the elbows out to the side. See how you're pushing the shoulder blades in, Sean? You didn't do that, but when I had you roll the biceps and triceps, that's what happens. So then you want to bring the elbows in. 
and maybe you take the head at the base of the, sh the at the short end of the block, and then arch back, tailbone forward. One. Inhale. Two. That's it. Inhale. Three. So as you lean back, something has to find the balance. The toes. Four. Inhale. That's good. Five. Inhale, reach the block up. Exhale, release uh, the block down. And let's go for one handstand. Oh, one handstand. I know it's a big class, which I freaking love. Um, use the wall. Uh, Susan can assist. Who else is there? Uh, Elisa can assist. You know, Elisa, Elisa Solinas can assist. Who else is here? Meg can assist. Sorry, I'm just looking at the room. So it's not just me. There's a few people who can assist. Ribs in. So if you, Rosa, let's do it here. I'm here. Susan Steiner, Elisa, just find them, Elisa. Find these girls. The, the, oh, she's German too. Yeah. Well, we're going to do it. Only, yeah. where are you from? Oh, perfect. You live here? Where in Spain? Oh, oh, do you know Ida? Oh my God. Oh my God. Mi amor. Okay, please. You tell her. Okay, that was really good. Look forward, look forward. More, guys, a few tips. More weight on your fingertips. Uh, and Ali can, Ali can assist too, yes. More weight on your fingertips, yes. Less weight on the heels of the hands. Look forward, soften the elbows if you're looking forward, super Geneviève. Yes, Jim, oh my God, he did it. Okay, game over. Look, they're chatting. Look at that. Are you catching up with life? This is why the 90 minute class, people are catching up in class. And yeah, it's what happens. Okay, game over. Finish up, game over. Meg, let's do it. Has Kate, yes, yes, Kate. Let's go, let's go. Ah, the leg more forward, I know you, yes. Okay, come to the front edge of your mat, please. Please come to the front edge of your mat, unless you're in your hands. Oh, let's do it one more time. Take a moment, find your Tadasana. Okay, from there, everything stems or rises or progresses. Okay, from your connection to the earth, from your Tadasana, your mountain seat. Okay, let's go into, since I'm talking about the mountain, let's go into the tree. Bend the right knee into the chest. And on the exhalation, move the top part of the left thigh back as you open the right knee. So it's two movements. You're, you're not just working on the right leg, the left leg as well. Right heel by the root of the left heel. Yeah, if you have any knee condition, you can come here with the right heel against the left inner shin bone. Hands in prayer. Now open the chest like Sean. I'm sorry, I'm on your case, but it's a good thing. Open the chest, reach the arms up towards the sky. If you can keep the elbows straight, move the hands, keep the hands in prayer. Move the biceps alongside the ears. Otherwise, you can have your hands shoulder width apart. Totally perfect. One. Vanessa, move the arms back. Two. Lakshmi. So good. Now the tailbone is not sticking back, that it's into the body. Three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Coming in. Four. Yes. Exhale. Five. Inhale. Bring the hands in prayer. Exhale. Take a moment here. Inhale. Draw the right knee in. And on the exhalation, right foot down, Samasthiri. Inhale, bend the left knee into the chest. Exhale, open the left knee out to the side. Move the top of the right thigh back. Soften or descend, Janet, the left hip crease. Tailbone in. Hands in prayer at the heart and then extend from there. Biceps back. That's it, Peter. Extend the elbows one. Inhale, two, find the progression of the asana from the right foot up, three. Inhale, now lift up, four. 
Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, hands in prayer of the heart. Exhale here. Inhale, draw the left knee in. Exhale, Samastri Tadasana. Okay, inhale. Take the arms alongside the back of the ears and pulse your triceps. And see how when you're pulsing your triceps back, you want to lift the tailbone up. Instead, pulse your triceps and draw the tailbone forward. Find the theme of the day. And then from here, bend the knees. Inhale, press the big toes. Exhale, roll onto the pinky toes to squeeze your butt cheeks. Inhale, keep everything at the foundation, extend the legs. Exhale, bend the knees. Pinky toes down, knees together, inner ankle bones apart. One. Inhale. Nice, Rachel. Two. Use your toes, but don't grip. Three. Four. So there's an effortlessness to the pose, which can contribute to that state of mind. So you're not just working hard. You're working gracefully. Exhale, five. Inhale, press down and come to stand. And on the exhalation, arms by the side. Inhale, reach the arms up. Urdhva Astasan. Exhale, fold over the legs. Uttanasana. Inhale, look up. Lengthen. Exhale, jump or step back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, take it back. Downward face. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Back heel down. Warrior one. Exhale, just bring your hips, your hands at your hips. Now inhale, extend the right leg and find the outer edge of your left foot. Exhale, with your thumbs, draw the tailbone forward. Get the theme. Inhale, outer elbows in. Exhale, as you press the right big toe, like when you're holding the big toe in Parangustasana, bend the right knee. Descend the right hip crease. Left thigh towards the left heel. Inhale, reach the arms up. Alongside the ears, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two, breathe in. So most everyone can deepen their bend. Three, inhale, four, inhale. If you like fruits, this is your song. You know who you are. Inhale, exhale five, inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, open arms and hips. Left toes in. As you look back, lengthen forward. So don't crunch the right waistline. And then exhale. Right hand down. Left arm up. Uttita Trikonasana. Hi, Murphy. One. Inhale. Two. Breathe in. Three. In your case, you have no problem. Great. Four. Quat. Exhale five. <laughs> Inhale, lift all the way up. Strawberry. And then exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, place the right hand outside of the right foot. Exhale, take the left arm over the left ear. Now notice how the right buttock wants to come forward, move it back. One. Lift the left arm, Lakshmi, a little bit. Two. Tangible. Inhale. Three. Um, Inhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Inhale. Left hand down. Pick up the left heel. Exhale. Shaturanga Dandasana. Press the right palm completely down. Peter and James. Inhale. Upward face. Exhale. Take it back. Downward face. That's good. Baby. I'm going to do this. I love it. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Back heel down. Vira Badrasana, one. Raspberry. And on the exhale, hands on the hips. Now inhale, extend the left leg. And exhale, really outer edge of your right foot down, Alex. With the thumbs, draw the tailbone forward. Draw the skin of your shoulders towards each other. And then bend the left knee. A lot, Barbara. Inhale, reach the arms up alongside the back of the ears. One. Inhale, two, inhale, three, breathe in, four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, extend the left leg, exhale, open arms and hips, lean forward, 
Then keep rolling the left thigh out. Exhale, bend sideways. Catch what you were catching. One. So if we have no problem in this asana, I would place the hand outside of the foot. Two. Rhythm. Three. Make left toes down. Four. Exhale, five. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Uchita Parashva Konasana A. Extended side angle A. Left hand outside, left foot. Right arm over the right ear. Find some space. Now the triceps rolls. So the skin of the right upper arm up. That's it. Beautiful, Claire. One. Inhale. Two. Nice. Inhale. So um, he got the John, the company. He like created it. Yeah, it's awesome. Great. Oh my God. Four. Tell him Mavruk. Five. Inhale, right hand down, pick up the right heel. Exhale, Shaturanga Randasan. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, take it back, downward face. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, step the right foot forward into a lunge. Exhale, look back, release the left heel down. Okay, and now notice how your right buttock wants to go to the right side. Draw the right buttock in. So the sternum is almost on the top of the right thigh. Then place the hands on the hips like we did earlier and come to stand. And as you come to stand, draw the tailbone forward. Extend the right leg, sorry. And then exhale, just roll the left buttock forward and bring the arms out to the side. And try, yeah, that's it, John. Like color bones towards your thumbs. And then, even if you hit somebody next to you, come forward, place the left hand outside, right foot. Don't change the position of your left foot. You can use a block instead. Reach the right arm up. That's it, Brandy. Beautiful. Use a block. Don't place the hand on the foot. Exhale one. Nice, Lena. Inhale. So it's a long trikonasana. Now, if your back heel is lifting up, what I could do is stay there. Insert a little bit of a blanket rather than you narrowing your stance. Yes. Push down through the left heel. Four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, place the hands down. Exhale, pick up your left heel. Release the left knee down. The zoomers, you've done this with me before for two years of the pandemic, so you know I'm not gonna zoom in myself. I'm just gonna show these guys. Standing spinal twist, but don't go yet. Bring the left knee in and really tuck the back toes. Just watch for a second, reach the arms up. Next thing you're gonna raise the right hand down. And then I'm gonna extend the left arm, place the left hand down or hands in prayer. But the key is when you lift the left leg, you're going to reach the right arm forward. Imagine you're holding something. The left toes almost lift up. And then you release the left heel on the floor. And you take a, a standing spinal twist with the back heel on the floor. It's called the California standing stand. I don't even know why. Okay. So, so, okay. Place the left hand down. Yes. Lavara is doing. Lift the left, almost lift the left toes. So left heel lifts up. You're reaching forward with the right arm. You're grabbing the Empire State Building. And exhale, release the left heel down. So not so much for her, yes. Left heel down. Yes, that's it. If that's too much, are you guys knocking into each other? Right? No, no, don't lift a foot, just a tad. One. Two. Three. Bend the right knee. Four. Inhale. Left knee presses down. Yeah, use that blanket. Uh, sucking. Exhale, five. Inhale, hands down. Exhale, pick up left heel. Downward facing down. Down dog. Just take a moment. Inhale, step the left foot forward, lunge. And on the exhale, release the right heel down, right heel. Then catch your waist, and as you come to stand, draw the tailbone forward. Arch the back. Exhale here. Inhale, bring the arms out to the side like an airplane. 
Vimana. And then come forward, release the right hand outside left foot or on a block. Don't lift your right heel. I would rather you get a block or place a blanket underneath the right heel. And then take the left arm. Most of us, uh, left arm forward towards the empire stick. No, straight up. No, you're still in uh, within the triangle, um, Alex. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. So these directions, like Empire State, the north, the south, wherever you are in the world, like that is what surrounds you. And these metrics can provide, you know, a, a structure. A sense of direction. Inhale, place the hands now. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, pick up right heel. Exhale, release the right knee down. So step by step together. Bring the right knee in. Tuck the toes. Inhale, reach the arms up. Lengthen. Move the lower ribs away from the top of the left thigh. Exhale. Release the left hand and keep the right arm straight. Keep it straight. Try to glide it, slide it outside. Now you can choose to bring the hands in prayer. Now move the right thigh back and extend the back leg. Then take the left arm over the left ear and just don't lift the foot, Barbara. Just lift, come up to the tippy toes of the right foot. That's it, that's it, that's it. Like I'm pulling you and then release the left right heel down. That's it. Amaze balls. One. You're like, good. Inhale, actually. Just do. Two. Don't even stop. Yes, good. Three. Gorgeous. Inhale, four, inhale, canter, exhale, five, inhale, stand, exhale, downward facing dog. The whole point is like to open you up, not to get you more knotted. Breathe in, breathe out, sides of the neck long. In fact, let's do this. Separate the legs wide apart. You can slide the block where the crown of the head or where the forehead is on the floor if you'd like. I'm gonna have you touch the floor. It's a deep stretch of the shoulders, so be careful. Maybe turn the fingers out a little bit, everybody, yes. And find the block with your uh, forehead. And if you're not there yet, you don't have a block, you can start and bend the knees for a moment, everybody, bend the knees. Bend the knees, bend the knees, bend the knees. Don't touch the floor yet. Lift the head a little bit off the block, bend the knees. And now, as you extend the legs, don't come forward. Move towards the back of the room. And maybe you touch the earth with or the block or the forehead. One, inhale, two, that's it, inhale, three, shoulder blades into the body, breathe in. Four. Inhale. What? Hear me. Exhale. Five. Look up. Bring the feet uh, hip width apart. And keep the block as it is. But, uh, uh, keep it as it is, but turn it so that the wide side is facing the, the windows. Okay, so it should be a little bit more back side. So when you come into Chaturanga, you land the bra line on the block. So. Inhale, come forward, or the rib cage, or the pelvis, and exhale, land. Something is on the block. Tuck the toes, and walk your hands back a little bit. Open up the back of the knees. So you're supported by the block. Extend the legs. Look forward, or a little bit down, especially Megan. So you can look down, so you're not using your traps. Inhale, lift the uh, chest off the block. One, two, three release one more up one two three release release the knees on the floor point your toes walk the hands back and lift up with the knees on the floor look forward press your pinky toes down tailbone in in sacrum down one two knees on the floor three four inhale Exhale, tuck your toes, sit back, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. 
inhaling, exhaling. Release the knees on the floor, cross your ankles, and then walk the hands forward, bring the forehead to the floor, cross your shin bones, stay here one. You feel your shoulder blades, walk your hands forward, lift the skin of your upper arms up, two, inhale, exhale, three. Walk the hands back, sit down behind your feet, extend the legs. So do you remember which shin bone was on top? Oh, you do? I, I think I do too. Well, do this, see which one goes first underneath. That's your tendency. That's probably what you did when you were sitting on the ankles. So extend the legs and do the other way. And then really bring the shin bone against the uh, belly of the upper uh, other leg. And reach the arms up. Flex your feet or move them back a little bit. So it's not ankle over ankle. King, Elisa, more middle. Like more of your leg. Yes. Reach up and then exhale, come forward. One, inhale, two, breathe in, three, inhale, four, inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, lift up. And then on the exhale, raise the knees, extend the legs. Okay, inhale, come forward a little bit, bend the knees if you need to. Exhale, cross your ankles again. Press the hands down, lift the uh, seat. And then exhale, drag your feet back and jump back. Shaturanga Randasana. Inhale, upward face. And then exhale, take it back. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale, bring the feet together. Exhale, stay here. On the next inhale, come forward to plank. If your plank doesn't work, your down dog is too short. Exhale onto the right hand outside, right foot, the left foot on top. Flex your feet. Tailbone in. See, we're tailbone in versus out. Take the left arm over the left ear. One. That's it. Inhale. Two. Breathe in. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Inhale. Left hand on your left hip. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Feet together. So you don't have to change your hands. Inhale. Plank pose. Tailbone. Tail in line with the base of the skull, exhale onto the left hand, outside left foot. You can find a variation, left knee can go down like Susan is doing. Tailbone in, right arm over the right ear, that's beautiful, Ernie, one. Inhale, two, right buttock in versus out, three, four, Exhale, five. Inhale, right hand on your right hip for a moment. Exhale, let's sit. Right hand down, downward facing dog. Release the knees to the floor. Tuck the toes and sit on your heels. And move up a little bit from your heels to bring the heels to touch and then sit back. So heels are together. Reach the arms forward. Exhale, interlock your fingers. With the elbows bent, draw the upper arms towards the shoulder joints, and then draw the palms towards the windows. And then inhale, reach the arms up. Badangulyasana, one. Inhale, two. Echo, move the arms back a little bit. So notice, okay, so I, if it's intense, right? Because we never do it. We usually, like the toes, the metal on the pedal, the pedal on the metal, metal on the pedal, met, pedal on one of the two. Okay, so, pedal, what? pedal to the metal, pedal to the, so it's the opposite. Ah. Sit and draw the tailbone down and forward. If you want to get come out of it, you're lifting your tailbone up. Okay, we're staying forever. Inhale, separate the hands, exhale, bring the arms forward. Teresita. Patience. Inhale, interlock the other pinky on top. 
Keep the feet flexed. You can do it. Exhale, extend the elbows, reach the arms up, pulse, fist up, sad. Aywa. Tailbone down, heavy. One. So Rosa, Rosita, Rosa. No, tailbone down. Two. But no dead feet. So there, there's, you know, you're almost lifting up, but you're not. Three. Inhale. I mean, you could have a blanket. I should have told you that. Four. It's too late. Sorry. Exhale, five. Inhale, separate the hands. Exhale, release. Come forward, child's pose. You're like, oh my God. Heels together. Knees together, if possible. And arms alongside the thighs, if you'd like. And then, uh, yeah, just um, feel the sacrum broadening so you're not just pushing down. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Okay. And then sit up and um, cross the ankles again. And I'm going to go with the same one. And then walk your hands forward like you did earlier. And then lift your seat. And then now draw the tailbone, tailbone down like it's an up dog and open across the chest. And from here, lift your feet up. Lift the chin up. Open across the chest. One, tailbone into the body, into the, towards the floor. Two, inhale, maybe more of the ankles, maybe like the middle of the shins. Three, that's it. Four, and exhale, five. Release all the way down, come forward. Undo your legs. If you have a question in the in the Zoom room, let me know about what we just did. But you probably saw everyone. Let me know. Okay. Hands by the waist, tuck the toes. Try not to move the shoulders forward as you press up and back, downward facing dog. Okay, beautiful. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, inhale, come forward to a plank. And then exhale, bend the elbows, and slowly, chest and thighs come straight down at the same time. Perfect. And we did this with Claudia yesterday, who teaches here on Wednesdays at 3. Form, flow, and function. It's an amazing class. And then on Thursdays at 12, 15, 65 minutes, and on Sundays at 2 p.m. But anyway, I liked it a lot, so I'm going to do it. Just, I'll change that for a second. Just you're in a, on, in a, on the floor. And I'll do it with you. Your abdomen is down. You can watch. Elisa, you were there, you might remember. Forehead on the floor. Place the hands by the waist, like in a chaturanga. We just did. Point your toes. You can lift one leg and lengthen the front of that thigh and then lift the other leg for a moment and really gather the skin of your shoulder blades. And then from here, bring the hands in the cactus. You can look up to make sure the elbows are in line with the, with the shoulders. And then from here, don't touch the head, just bring the fingers to touch right over the head. And then exhale, come back to cactus, and then bend the elbows, and then take the palms to face up on the back. Okay, let's do it together. Head is slightly up, look down though, don't look forward. Inhale, bring the hands in cactus. Exhale, hands hover, hovering above the head, elbows out to the side. Inhale, back to cactus. Exhale, you can take the arms straight back and then bend the elbows, palms face up. Inhale, forward to cactus. Exhale, hovering above the head. Inhale, back to cactus. Exhale, extend the arms back, and then bend the elbows, palms face up. One more, cactus, hovering above the head, back to cactus, extend the arms, then bend the elbows slightly up, and then cactus, and then hands in a pillow, and then switch the pillow hands. Forehead down. Take a moment, rock your hips from side to side. Breathe in and breathe out 
Okay. And then place the hands by the uh, waist, tuck the toes, sit back, and then cross the ankles, and then switch. And then sit back and sit down. Extend the legs. Now we're going to come into a Matsyasana, a little bit different. Expand the legs, press the elbows down, arch the back. You don't have to watch me. I'm just doing it for the zoomer. And then from here, be careful, Megan, so you're obviously not doing this. If you have any neck condition, don't do it. You can hold the back of your thighs, press the elbows, place the crown of the head on the floor. And then from here, catch the edges of your mat. And then lift the head a little bit more and then place it. And stay there holding the edges of your mat. One. No, so, sorry. Release, everybody release. Okay. Sorry. Come up for a second. I'll show. Sorry, you can bend the knees to come up. Okay, so I, I my mistake. So basically, you're holding this edge, not this edge. But this is nice too. But you're here. And then you hold here like a wheel. And then you lift up. You heavy the tailbone. And then you place the head. Okay, and you keep your hands there. Let's go. Lie down, place the hands, flex your feet. Yeah, and come into a supine twist, Megan, all the way down. And then uh, lift the chest, place the crown of the head on the floor. And now that's it, uh, flex your feet. Hold the edges of your mat by your ears. Lift the head a little bit, arch the back a little bit more. Draw the tailbone towards your heels, that's it. One, inhale, two, breathe in. Three, four, exhale, five, inhale, lift the head, exhale, onto the back of your head, release the hands. Perfect. Okay, take a moment. And bend the knees and sit up very quickly. Tabletop, place the hands behind you, align your feet. Sorry, I'm going to switch the camera over there. And then as you lift the seat, draw the tailbone forward and into the front body. And on the exhale, you can take the head back, press the palms, one. Tabletop chat, inhale, lift the mid buttocks up. Let's go in, in, two. Inhale, crown of the head towards the back wall, three. Ali, bring the feet closer, your knees are recycling in, four. Yeah, you can use block like Jen is doing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lift the head and release. Okay. Handstand, swap, stand, headstand, or just one of them. Let's go. If you're not inverting, let me know. I'll give you a couple of things to do. So let me know in the Zoom room, in the real room. Not that the Zoom room is not real, but you know what I'm saying. I'll show you something that I actually I did with Nick today, who teaches here on Fridays at 12.15. It's also amazing. It's an Ayanga-inspired dynamic alignment. You should take it if you can. Janet, you should take that class if you can with Nick. Yeah, so good. Um, but again, I'll show you if you're not inverting, and maybe everybody will do it at the end. Yeah, let's go. Anna, Anna, Anna. All three of them, yalla. Kullon yani kullon, shnek. Kullon yani kullon, kullon bandi ninzalo, kullon. Kullon yani kullon. Yes, uh, Elisa. Come up. Slow, yes. Okay, so here I want you to focus just for today on your tailbone. If you're a little bit like in a banana or if you're rounding the lower back, it's not just the articulation of the feet but also this area of the body, the pelvis. Nice. Um, 
So if you're in Shamayurasana, or most of us have to lift the telephone a little bit up. Okay, if you need me, call me, Mindy. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to think what you could do. You could do this. Geriatric yoga. I'm just kidding. I'm, just, I'm gonna love you too. I can only say that to you. I like to. Okay, so sit here, sit here, like like this, and then you're gonna lift your legs up. Be careful your shoulder. Do it on the side of your shoulder that doesn't hurt. Nice canter. Yes. Nice, Lakshmi. I'm here. I'm here. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Nice, Catherine. Tomorrow. Que pasa? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So come back on. Can you interlock your fingers or are you doing this on purpose? Oh, good. So quiet, especially if you're gonna enter in, in Shirshasana, try to headstand. Anybody needs me here? No? Not needed, okay. Take a moment. Elbows closer. And if you're in Shirshas and a headstand for a while, you could come into Urdva, uh, Urdva Virasana. So you can bend the knees and have the heels towards your buttocks, knees together, no, Vara. knees together, and then Virasana legs. He yes, toes towards the windows, by your butt, smooch your toes, like, like heels towards your buttocks, like Virasana, yeah. It's good, it's very nice. Lena, you need me? Hold on, give me a second. And here you, you can articulate the tailbone in. Let's do something. And then slowly come down. Take your time. And now you can rest. You can choose knees apart or knees together. Just feel the difference again. It's not like one is right, the other one is wrong. See, even when we speak about basic goodness, it's not like good versus bad, it's potentiality. What's gonna not just make you feel better about yourself and about the world, but what's gonna increase your sensitivity? Okay, come on, your hands and knees press back into downward facing dog. Inhale, float to plank pose. Exhale, bend the elbows and release. Interlock your fingers and rest your um, wrists on your buttocks for a moment. Just relax here for a second. And then um, you can bring the feet together, tops of the feet down. Now lift the shoulders up, Rachel. Yes, and extend the arms more. And again, gather the skin of your shoulder base. Okay, long, long wrists. That's it, Jim. And then lift the head, chest, and legs. Exhale, one. Inhale, two. Breathe in. Sacrum down. I mean, down like tailbone into the front pelvis, the three, four, and exhale, five, release, take a moment, and now bring the left forearm parallel to the front edge of your mat, we're not going where you think we're going, okay, so left elbow and left shoulder in line, like parallel, like on the mat. So you're 
puckering yourself up. That's it. So uh, yes, front row. You're everybody's looking at you. So you know, make me proud. Okay, bend the right knee and hold the outside of your right ankle with the right hand, like a bow pose. It's like with the palm. Fit. Yes, just outside. No, no, just the ankles. It's, I said, Jim, not you're not going where you think we're going. Yes, and don't bring the foot towards you. Extend the right leg away from you. Away from you. Yes. Move the right shin back. Yeah, take a moment, take a moment, take a moment, take a moment. That's it. And lift up and use the left leg, Rosa, down. That's it. Beautiful. Now move the left shoulder back, um, Janet. Teresita, right hand outside. So the right palm is facing the left. Okay. And then release and switch. Right forearm parallel to the front edge of your mat, parallel to the windows. I'm coming. Yes. So don't just. Um, or any, move the right elbow out to the side. And again, extend, kick that left leg back. See how this, this stabilizes the pelvis area. It's nothing intense yet. <laughs> and then release. And when you're ready, both legs. So bend the knees, hold the ankle. Notice how the knees are gonna go apart. And then try to have some structure in, that's it. And now, Kick the legs back, kick the legs back, kick the legs back. You can even like land on your thighs and then you can lift your thighs up. One, inhale, two, breathe in, squeeze the shoulder blades. You'll feel better about yourself. Three, in your bow, four, nice uh, Lieberman inhale, exhale, five. So rather than bringing the feet toward the toes towards your circum, I want you to extend the legs back. That's it. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, and then place the hands by the waist, tuck the toes, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Here I'm gonna give you the option, because it's Friday, TGIF. Either bow, another one of these, and just try to refine it. Or a camel, Ustrasana. So you're standing on your knees, you choose. my god I love this I love human beings except if you're from the Canary Islands like Rosa she's the only one who chose bow it's like human beings are like I already did one bow why am I gonna do a second bow I want to do something different you know it's like well the nature of reality is change anyway let me change it up you know only the person from the Canary Islands in this room oh no and Vanessa over there the only other New Yorker are doing bow pose. Let's go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. No, it's fascinating. Breathe in. Breathe out. And if you're from Argentina, you're just lying on your back over there. <laughs> yeah. If you're from Argentina, you either play like Messi or you <laughs> geriatric yoga. <laughs> Okay, come on to your hands and knees, press back, downward facing dog. Vamonos. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Release the knees, cross the other ankle or shin bone, you know, remember the other one. And then sit back, knees on the floor, and sit back and then lie on your Roll back and then lie on your back. Okay. If you have blocks and you want to play with that, it's nice to use blocks underneath your feet and then switch underneath your hands. I like the hands when they're wide and then I'm folding my fingers. Okay. Your choice. Let's go three times. I'm not going to call it out, so I'm going to assist you only. I'm going to crank up the volume. I'm coming to you. 
love the Panthers laugh over there. Okay, so if you came down, you're gonna do one more, even if you're done. So I want you to come up. Remember when I had you do this matsyasana with holding the edges of your mat? Don't lift up more. So come down, place the hands on the shoulders, lift the hips only. Yes. And now use your shoulder blades to lift up. Your shoulder blades. Yes, Sean, yes. And then shoulder blades into the front body. One. Inhale. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale, five, release. Bend the knees into the chest. And then um, open the knees out to the side on the floor. And then, and then uh, press your elbows, draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Lift the seat and draw the tail forward. And then take your hands underneath your thigh, underneath your ankles. Lift your feet. And then place the outer edges of your feet on the floor. And as you press on your elbows, give me your buttocks on the heels if possible. So you're still in that magnet effect. So underneath the thighs, not on top of the thighs. Yes. Underneath the thighs and then hold the back of the ankles, underneath the ankles. That's it. I'm gonna spotlight Kate here for you guys. Here she goes. Breathe. And then um, release, lift the seat, release uh, the feet forward a little bit. And then bend the knees into the chest and come and sit up. Extend the legs. Paschimottanasana, folding over your legs. You can grab hold of the big toes. You can sit on a block if you're rounding the lower back a little bit. Sit on a blanket, sorry. And so this um, this event that I is running for a couple of days. It's called the Heart of Global Peace Two Day Collective Consciousness Summit. So it's tomorrow and Sunday. So you can um, live stream it on Jiva Mukti Yoga and the Azahar Foundation Facebook and YouTube. And um, at 9.15 tomorrow, our time, there'll be a panel on which I'll be on as well. And several classes, some of which will be live, others like this one will be part of it as well. And um, you know, Krishna Das is going to be part of it. Deva Pramal and Mitten, Dr. Jayashri. You can get all the info. And then on the next inhalation, look up and exhale, sit up. Take a moment. And a shoulder stand. If you're not going to practice shoulder stand, let me know. You can have a block underneath your sacrum. You can come into a supine twist. It's a little bit different, but you could do that as well. Just a couple of minutes. Here to lift the pubic bone up, tailbone sacrum in. Press the palms completely on the back. Find um, the elbows on the floor, the shoulders on the floor, they're relatively aligned. So here, if the feet if are hovering above your head, lift the pubic bone up, draw the tailbone in.
then extend the legs overhead. They can go one at a time, find the earth. You can point or flex your feet. Flexing will open up the back of the knees. If your feet don't reach the floor, I'm just gonna, by magic, place a block underneath your feet. Here. You can catch the edges of your mat since we've done that a little bit uh, today in class. And then bend the knees on either side of your ears. And from here, just point your toes, Rich. Oh, yes. You can place the hands on the back of your calves. And then roll down. And we came into Matsyasana. So you can come to another one without holding the edges of your mat. You can have a block underneath your shoulder blades and one, another one on your, ha your head. You can come into Supta Barakanasana like Mindy is going. And when you're ready, come into Shavasana at your own pace. You know, connecting with the wisdom of the earth, with the wisdom of your ancestors. And without being goal-oriented, this is a practice of letting go, so you're not Oh my God, I want to find that blissful state. So then when I walk out on the streets, I'm... I'm not, not meeting the world like in a repetitive sort of habitual way, but rather from that space of innate wisdom. It will come, it is here, it's not... Uh... If you try to grab onto it, it will evaporate or just slip through your fingertips like, like sand.
again to deepen your breath, unless you're going to stay a little bit longer. But if you're going to come and sit up, bend the knees into the chest one at a time. You can roll to the right side. Yeah, I like stay I like that. We'll end with one arm. Om. Bowing the head slightly down, so from the base of the neck, releasing the brain into the heart. We bow down to each other. I bow down to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. If it's your first time, come and talk to me. So it won't just be your first time.